Hey guys, good morning. How are you all doing? Today, it's December. Yeah. It's the start of Christmas, it's the start of the festive season. It's the day after my birthday. Yeah, Melissa's birthday was yesterday. We had a lovely time. Um, we actually had to film uh, for Maiden Chelsea yesterday evening, so we didn't get to go for dinner. But this evening, we're celebrating Melissa's birthday. We're going for a lovely dinner at a restaurant called Hutong, which is at the top of the Shard. And hopefully, Chinese Melissa enjoys that. Chinese is my favourite food as well. So, this is a big deal, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, Melissa loves Chinese food. So, I thought, let's take her to the best Chinese restaurant in London. That'd be really cool. But we thought we'd start the day off by going to do some like festive Christmas shopping. So, we want to basically make the flat like ready for Christmas. Yeah, because, well, it's the 4th of December, we should have done it on the 1st. But we haven't had time. We haven't had time, and we looked at how many decorations I had on the tree last year, and that was a bit <laughs> yeah. lame. So we decided <laughs> we need to have more decorations on the tree. Because we've, it's so small. Yeah, because we've got like a one bedroom flat, we can only get like a small tree. So the tree that we've got is pretty small, but we want to do the best with it. So we're going to get some cool decorations today and just get some festive stuff to try and make the flat more Christmassy like and wreath. ready for Christmas. What else do we want? Yeah, what do you want to get? I definitely want a wreath on the front of the door. Okay, we'll get a wreath. Um, I don't know, maybe something in the table, like around a candle or something. We just need to look at a couple, <laughs> a couple bits. Yeah, we need to look at a couple of bits. And we're also flying off to Val d'Isere next week. So yeah. we want to get the flat all Christmassy at the start of December. Otherwise, we won't really get to do it. Oh, it's a big helicopter. Oh, now there's a train. <laughs> you can definitely tell they're in London with all this going on. So yeah, as we were saying, we're off to Val d'Isere next week. So we want to get the flat all Christmassy before then. And also, I can't wait to get to Val d'Isere because we're going to vlog so much whilst we're there. It's going to be sick. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. Val d'Isere vlog's coming soon. Val d'Isere vlog's coming soon. Um, but hopefully there'll be more of them. Yeah. Right, let's get a move on. Let's get down to Sloane Square and get some festive things for the some flat. festive things. Let's go. Sloan Square and the first shop that we're going into is the White Company. Uh, they do awesome like Christmas decorative stuff. Yeah. Melissa got some things there from last year so we're going to go check it out in there. Uh, we're not sure if we're going to be able to film in the shop so I thought I'd let play you know where we were it. going before we get in there. Yeah. Right, let's go across this road. Right, let's get in there. It we've literally got, smells like Christmas. I know, we've got one of these candles, so I wanted to put some like a wreath behind, around it. Wreath there. I really like that one though, do you? It's okay, I think we can find better. better. Oh, these are baubles that have. I don't know what that is. Shower gel. Do you like that one? That one's nice. Do you like that one? It's much better than the other one. There is so much Christmas stuff in there. <laughs> That's a bit big. No, I the one in between. Oh, I thought you meant the stuff. The stuff's nice though. We need to decide what bits we actually want to get. So we need to get some more decorations for the Christmas tree. Yeah. And we need to get a wreath. Okay, so these are the different wreath options. Oh, this one lights up. Yeah, I really like that. Yeah, so I think that's good. I love it how you're like, yeah, we just spend £50 max, so that's £45. <laughs> pounds. So the White Company was a success? <laughs> yes, it was. The White Company was a success, we got some awesome bits. So what we're going to do, um, we're going to show you everything when we get back to the flat. Yeah, because it's too hard to do in there. Yeah. Too crazy. So when we get back, we'll unbox everything and show you exactly what we bought. And now we're heading into Peter Jones, to see We're if we can get a few more bits and pieces. White, what is that stuff called? That white, like, uh, sheer material? You rip it up and Yeah, like... we're after, like, tinsel, but it's not tinsel. It's not tinsel at all. It's like a nice version of tinsel. Yeah. That's what we're after, so we're coming to Peter Jones to try and find that. Right, 
so we are improvising. So they didn't have the like material stuff that like wraps around a tree in like the Christmas section. So we are going to the material section to see if we can sort of make a makeshift sort of one. Right, let's see what they have. Ooh, that looks awesome. I just get like that and then they do a couple slits. What about the one that's got like the silver snowflakes on? Feel how soft that is that won't, do you know what I mean? It won't sort of sit the same. So we're getting half a meter of this fabric yep. and improvising to get it around the tree. Hopefully it looks good. Fingers crossed. <sighs> Peter Jones was a success. We got some cool material. <laughs> material. <laughs> and hopefully Melissa's going to make the tree look good. We'll do it together. With this. Apparently we'll do it together, but I think will, but Melissa will do it her way. It. I've done my research on how trees should look. And she I has. Think She's been watching vlogs about it the yeah. whole time, whereas I haven't. So. I was going for a more sort of like tinsel-esque sort of vibe, but apparently that's not correct. Well, no, you didn't want tinsel, you wanted No, tinsel. not tinsel. You wanted I wanted crack. like material that was like, I don't know, the material that you use to sort of like put bows around presents. I was envisioning that like right, draping around, around the, tree, the tree, but apparently that's not correct. So we got material. It's not that it's not correct. I just don't think it will look as good as it could. All right, let's see anyway. We got some, we got some really good material. So hopefully we can make our tree look awesome because it's really small but we're going to do the best that we can with it. Zara Home might actually have some quite cute bits. Should we check in Zara Home? Yeah, I think we should because I kind of want to get something to go next to the tree. Okay, like right. Like a little reindeer or something. Let's check out Zara Home. Zara home didn't seem to have anything that was that great, but I feel we've got everything that we've needed. Yeah. Don't you? Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to get back to the flat and get everything set up and ready for Christmas. Ready for Christmas. Ready for Christmas. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Right, we've just got back to the flat and we're pretty excited to show you guys what we got today. I'm just excited to de decorate the tree because yeah. normally we only have like a ridiculously small amount of decorations which is literally just those. So the decorations that we had before were, were in this tub and a few little silver hearts there so we really needed to sort of up the ante up the a game. little bit. Um, but yeah, we haven't gone like too all out because we're going away on the 12th. We don't want to go all out because we won't be able to appreciate it throughout the whole of December. And I'm it's pretty sure- It's only the 4th now as well. I don't know if it, this is obviously not going to go out today, but we're filming this on the 4th. So that is only about a week. We also didn't want to go without doing Christmas. So. <laughs> yeah. So we thought we'd do a little bit, yeah. but yeah, let's unbox what we got today and show you what we got. What we got. Right. So, we got things from the white company and from Peter Jones, John Lewis. I'll put that aside for now. So the biggest thing on here, which was probably my favourite purchase of the day, was this wreath. And it lights up as well. So yeah, we'll show you when it's all lights up. There. Actually, yeah, does it just turn on here? No, here yeah, you, here. you have to put batteries in it, baby. There's no batteries. Oh. <laughs> okay, we need to get some batteries to show you what this is like. Our door is like sort of like a, a brownie colour, so it sort of goes yeah, with that really, really well. Yeah, it will look really nice actually, won't it? And we've got a little um, Velcro patch to put that on with because we can't actually hammer a nail into our door. So in here, we've got the Velcro. Bit so you DIY. sort of like cut that and do it yourself sort of thing. So we'll show you how we do that later. Um, what else did we get from the white company? I chose that little... Melissa chose this cute little love yeah, and sparkly I, thing. Normally I'm against things like that, but I just thought it's actually so cute. 
So this is pretty cute. I like it as well. Yeah. I think really that looks really and nice. And it goes with it's the sweet. stars or hearts that we've got. Yeah. So we're going for a sort of like silver and white theme. And gold. Antique theme. There's a lot of antique. That's the way that they describe it. Is so it? yeah. <laughs> so I'll show you what I mean. The, these little baubles. These baubles. Yeah. Oh yeah. So it's an antique theme. Let me. These are cute. So it's like antique-y. It's really, really pretty, I think. They look really nice. Yeah. And the other ones that we've got from last year are antique as well. So these I'm cool. happy with these. We've got six of these little ones. And they're all like miniature, so they're perfect for the tree. I know we've said this, but our tree is very small. You, you can, can see, it, see like, it just behind me here. We haven't set it up yet, so. Yeah, it's, only, it's all sort of put together. Right, so we've got six of those. I thought we got way more than we did. <laughs> we've hardly got anything. we got these. I'm guessing that's a partridge. Yeah, they're really pretty. Yeah. And we've got how many of those? Four of those or three? One, two, three. I've got three, three of those. Three of those. This is a partridge. I want to check that out. You guys can see that. And let's show them the ones we got from last year. So these are also antique -y. So, so these got the silver, silver hearts. hearts. And they're antique as well. And then... And then we've got sort of a more glittery heart, which, which goes with... Yeah. The love. Cute. <laughs> so we've got glittery sort of stuff. Then we've got sort of antique silvery, bauble stuff. Yeah. And then we've got the glittery birds. Yeah. And right. we've also got this stuff. We were trying to, we just, I think we described it to you guys earlier. It's, I don't know what they call it. It's just sheer. It's basically just like a cut of material. So we were looking for... This is exactly what people use though. This is exactly yeah. what they do. They go to a haberdashery. See, I thought that they would have like sort of like pre-made pre -made yeah. stuff. Yeah, I thought they'd have pre-made stuff in like the Christmas section, but they didn't. So we had to go to the fabric section of Peter Jones and get them to cut half a meter of this. So hopefully we can do some sort of DIY but Christmas. I've, I watched a fabrics, couple of videos of people doing bits. it, and they just basically do like a couple of slits here and they rip them down and they put them in. So I don't know what that's going to look like, but we're going to give it a go. Yeah, I'll let Melissa get on with that one because yeah. I'll probably mess that up. Right, I think it's time to set up the tree. Yeah, and we need to move the guitar as well because I don't know if I can see I know, we'll probably have to put my guitar on the balcony. Right, yeah. let's do a time lapse and set up the tree. Yeah. Let's go. Christmas tree is now done. We're super happy with it. Now it's time to get that wreath on the door. I've never had a wreath before. This, I think this is the first time I've had a wreath in London. All right, let's see if these Velcro sticky things work. Do you think they're a bit higher? Do you that's, care? Yeah, that's directly yeah. over the, the hole. Yeah, Ready? Okay. Yep, go for it. Let's get this on. Oh God, you've got to push it without breaking it. There's, there is a chance that this is not going to work. There we go. Oh, I can't that. Looks good. Right, and now the final touch. <gasps> How does that look? So pretty. Oh, it's so nice. I love it. It looks so cute, much. doesn't it? Yeah, it, it looks, looks really, really good. really good. I'm impressed with that. I think that was a really good buy. Same. That was your spot. So Harry liked the look of it, but you didn't even realise that it was a light up, did you? No, I didn't. That's oh, so cute. Definitely my buy of the day. Should we see sure. what the experience is when you walk in? The yeah, come and see our Christmas, our Santa's Grotto. We finished the tree. Right, we have finished getting our flat ready for Christmas. We haven't done a lot, to be honest. No. <laughs> we really haven't. <laughs> Um, I was just, after doing that walkthrough, I was like, this is actually quite embarrassing. We, we really <laughs> haven't put hardly any effort into this. No, we have, but uh, we can't, unless we buy a real tree or we buy a bigger tree, but then yeah. what's the point? Because no, we're here for a week. I feel like if we were going to be in London yeah. over the whole of December, then yeah, we probably would have made a bit more effort. Well, we would have actually gone all out. Like I would have had a garland across the fireplace. I think we made the most effort we could 
going by the fact that we are yeah <laughs> we're not here yeah. next week um but i'm re i'm really impressed with the wreath i thought i thought the wreath looked really wreath really nice the part. i'm really excited to now get presents wrap them up beautifully and have them under the tree but we're really really looking forward to val Desire next week can't wait to get out there and we're going to try and vlog a hell of a lot more yeah. like i want to do a vlog there like every other day and they're going to be super exciting we're going to be skiing pretty much every day and skiing vlogs are always awesome so we're, we'll show you exactly what we get up to when we get out there so you've got a lot to look forward to guys loads of Aldez Air vlogs yeah b-roll maybe not as intense only because it takes a lot of time yeah so i'll try and cut back on like the editing b-roll aspects but i really enjoy doing that so we'll see what happens yeah. really reassuring you someone came up to you today didn't they and was like I, they were quite oh, yeah, shocked because so, you were filming everything. And yeah, some a, a dude came over to me today. I think his name was Nick, and I was like filming stuff, like s sort of B-roll shots around Sloane Square. And he came over to me and he was like, oh, "Harry, I love your YouTube channel. Like, subscribe. It's really, it's really cool." He was like, "I didn't know that you did it yourself." I was like, "Yeah, I do, I do all the filming That's and editing why it myself." Takes such a long time and for us to get a vlog out because it's all Harry doing it himself. It was really nice to hear that, and someone coming over and saying that to me is like very encouraging. Extremely encouraging. So Nick. Thank you, dude. That was Thank nice. you for all the subscribers. <laughs> the camera's literally about to die, so we need to get on with this. Guys, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. And those of you who have, you guys are great. Yeah, I think we're coming to the end of the vlog. I want to say thank you guys again. Thank you so much for watching. We'll try and keep the vlogs coming. And yeah, any comments or anything that you want to put down below and I'll do my best to respond. Um, so yeah, I think the next time that we will see you guys will be in Val d'Azer. So... Yeah. We'll see you in Val. See you later, guys. Bye. <laughs>